Hey, Steve and Veronica Kibler here, and today we are at Mexican Grill Camino Viejo Restaurant. Yeah, it's a new restaurant that opened up in Pigeon Forge. It's only been open for about a week now, so we're going to go in here and give it a try. We're going to come in and check it out, so join us for lunch. All right, so I do have to make a correction right off. This is actually located in Sevierville. We're not quite into Pigeon Forge yet on Veterans Boulevard. So we'll have the address down in the description below. And that was uh, verified with the owner of the restaurant. Yes. So yeah. Wanted to make sure we got the right address so as I've... they're um, making uh, updates to their website and yeah. corrections. So. Yeah, I apologize for calling it Pigeon Forge when it's actually Sevierville according to the owner. So here is a look at Veterans Boulevard, such a beautiful road. And uh, this is the, the road that one can take to go to Dollywood. Yes, if you keep going towards that mountain there, you'll run into Dollywood. <laughs> so this is a brand new restaurant. We're gonna go in and have some lunch, check it out and take a look at the menu. Um, now we did miss one of the pages of the menu. We apologize for that, but uh, we, uh, There's just a lot going on. Yes, nevertheless, the, I mean, yeah. their menu is quite large, so lots of items to choose from. Yeah. And here's a look at the inside of the restaurant. It's a beautiful, beautiful little restaurant. And uh, I love the colors, the orange walls, oh, so bright. and Beautifully decorated. Just a really nice atmosphere to walk mm -hmm. in here and feel like you're uh, Walking into an authentic Mexican restaurant, which this is. It is. Yeah, they're playing authentic Mexican music and all that, so I appreciate that. And I like the artwork that they have on their walls. Very pretty and festive. Mm -hmm. Very uh, colorful plates. Yeah, just love the the decor of you know these type of places that decorate like this. So this was uh, we were their first customers this morning. This restaurant has about maybe two weeks that they've been open. So very yeah, a very over a week. I think, maybe or, a week yeah. when we were there. Very yeah. brand new. We've been driving by the the place, looking, waiting for it to open, and it finally did. <laughs> Every time we drive on I think our this way, this may to be the second weekend that it's open. Second weekend. Every yeah. time we drive to uh, Dollywood, we see and been watching it. Been mm -hmm. watching it for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Here's a look at their one of their menus, the express lunch menu. Mm -hmm. They have chimichangas, taco salad, huevos rancheros. Yeah, they huevos, say express lunch, but they have eggs. Huevos entomatado, entomatados. Mm -hmm. Then here's the. Um, Appetizers, taco salad, um, uh, below that, then they have the salads. The Texas fajita taco salad, ensalada de camarón, guacamole salad, then they have nachos, a lot of different combinations, and soups, a shrimp soup and a chicken soup. And then they have the combination dinners, they have fajitas, chimichangas, quesadillas, vegetarians, uh, chimichangas, uh, vegetarians, tostadas, children's mm, yeah, menu, tortas. combination vegetarians. And they have uh, grilled beef specials, chile verde, carne asada, steak ranchero, chile rojo, steak tan pequeño, steak con camarones, arroz con pollo, tacos, Tacos pollo asado, tacos de carnitas, tacos carne asada, tacos steak chorizo, tacos fajitas. And then they have quesadillas, um, steak, chicken, shrimp quesadillas, uh, beef tips or shredded chicken quesadillas. And they have desserts, Ch chocolate burrito, churros, fried ice cream, flan, sopapilla, pueblo viejo chimichanga and drinks. They have the Mexican um, water drinks too, the, t the Mexican iced teas. Mm -hmm. And they do serve crispy, fresh yeah. crispy um They bring them up to your table right away with some the, salsa. Some salsa, yes. And the this, salsa was very mild. I mean, it's not hot at all, in it, yes. but it had very good flavor. 
and and it tasted like it was homemade or mm -hmm. in house made because yeah. It was a little bit more liquidy than the chunky kind, so mm -hmm. you know they might be using the the big Haas tomatoes instead of the Roma tomatoes, mm -hmm. and they have really good flavor. Yeah, regardless, it's made really good and tastes fantastic. So we love chips mm -hmm. and salsa, mm -hmm. but it's very mild. I think anybody could probably eat it. At least the day we ate it, it was very mild. It's always nice to go ahead and start with the chips and salsa while you're looking over mm -hmm. the menu to see what yeah, you're going to yeah. order. And here's my agua de Jamaica, which is an iced tea made from hibiscus flowers. And it's uh, the flavor of this tea, it, it kind of resembles a little bit like if you're drinking a cranberry juice, but not as um, tart. Mm -hmm. And it is, um, they add sugar to it, so it's sweet and refreshing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's not sweet on its own. It's not sweet on its own, yeah. So they have to add a little bit of sugar to sweeten that up. And it's mm. like a cranberry, almost mm. like a cranberry juice. Yeah. It's very refreshing. And the chips were nice and crispy. And they were actually um, warm yeah, when they, they brought were them out. Yeah, they were very warm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. And I ordered a combination dinner. Um... I ordered the chicken enchilada uh, and a pork tamal it came with rice and beans. Mm -hmm. And that red sauce was absolutely delicious. Oh, yeah. That was a very good red sauce on your enchiladas. And it had very, um, it wasn't spicy hot. No? It was a mild red chili flavor. It was really good. And here's the tostada. I ordered a chicken tostada. Oh my goodness, that was also very good. And here I'm going in to show the the enchilada and the delicious chicken that's been marinated in you know some type of sauce. It's just so flavorful. I mean, it's just absolutely delicious. And these are all um, the owner's um, recipes, mm -hmm. so his family recipes. He was sharing with us, you know the. The, how he learned to cook from his mom, yeah. <laughs> which a lot of us have done that. I, you know, I learned to cook from my mom, so I, I have her recipes. But that sauce had a delicious, almost like a mildly sweet flavor. Um, then chili, you get a little bit of the chili flavor, and then like a cumin, like an earthy flavor. It was mm -hmm. very good. And here's the creamy um, beans. Those also were very flavorful. They also had an earthy flavor. And the rice, it was fluffy and it had a light tomato flavor and a hint of the chicken like a broth. Chicken broth, yeah. The actual chicken broth like, that they cook it with. Yeah. I'd say this rice is probably as close to your rice and your family's rice. Oh my goodness, mm. it was delicious. And here's the tamal. And it's a pork tamal, so it was full of flavor from that pork mm. meat. Oh my goodness. And when you take a bite into the masa, which is what, you know, the type of corn, not cornmeal, but corn that they use to make the the actual um, ma uh, tamal, it's it's made out of the so so creamy cornmeal, and yeah. delicious. You can like it tastes like the a, a really like a house made tortilla, but a yeah. th little bit thicker. It's just so delicious. Mhm. Mm Again, lots of flavor. Lots of flavor throughout. I'm so glad that they offer tamales. And maybe in the winter we'll order more tamales. <laughs> yeah. It's They're, a big thing at Christmas time it is to have tamales. Very, mm -hmm. very popular at Christmas time for the uh, Mexican uh, culture. Now, we were having a really nice conversation with the owner. Um, again, talking about recipes in my tostada came out, so it sat for a little while. Um, normally, the, the tortilla part of it is very crispy. But because it soaked some of the juices of the chicken, <laughs> I wasn't able to lift it up. So, <laughs> yeah. so normally, was, you eat them with your hand. You normally, eat them with yeah. your hand. So yeah. I had to use uh, my fork here to yeah. pick it up and mm -hmm. eat it that way. But it was refreshing with that fresh lettuce on mm -hmm. top and fresh tomato. 
and that flavorful chicken oh my goodness it was so good yeah. and i like to add hot sauce or salsa to my tostadas so i add a little bit of the the salsa from the chips mm-hmm. and salsa it just kicks it up a notch oh my goodness it was so wonderful delicious mm-hmm. it's almost like a taco salad so yeah i mean that's what you could compare it to mm-hmm. yeah. yes So I just want to eat it up really quick, but it kept falling apart on me. So I did did have to use the uh, the fork (laughs) instead of just lifting it and Mm -hmm. taking a big bite out of it. (laughs) Well, the chicken was juicy. It was. And I like that, you know. And I ordered the fish. The mojarra pescado. Mm, Deep fried fish. This is the way, this is authentic Mexican cooking, the way they do fish. You know, it's a whole fish. I was sprinkling some lime on it to give it a little extra flavor. I, uh, lime and lemon is really good with fish, you know, and seafood, other seafood uh, items. And it came with tortillas, so I'm going to make myself a little taco here. So I added a little beans, and again, the beans were really delicious. They had a lot of good flavor. The rice was it was the closest to Veronica's family's rice recipe as I've had at a restaurant. And, you know, it's really good. At least that's what I like, because that's what I, for lack of better words, was weaned on as far as Mexican <laughs> food. Uh, and then you got the little uh, um, salad that comes with it. that had guacamole and then, you know, the salad. So I'm trying to break off the little piece of fish there. Now, there's a, there is bones in this fish. I mean, it's a whole fish, so there's bones in it. So you got to be careful. You got to pick out the bones. Uh, I wouldn't recommend a child eating this on their own. You know, you, you know, an adult would have to uh, make sure there's no bones in it, it while they're eating. That is. Um, so, oh, but the flavor was good. It was cooked just right. It wasn't overcooked. It wasn't undercooked. It was cooked just right. Crispy on the outside, nice and juicy on the inside, the way that a fish is supposed to be cooked Mexican style. Mm. Delicious. And there's there's a lot of fish here, so I definitely had some to take home afterwards and ate it again. And this is the mojarra um, item on the menu, which my apologies, I thought I hit the record button, but I did miss one of the pages of the menu. Um, so this is on their menu. It's just uh, I missed it when reco- recording. Yeah, so we apologize for that. But I also tasted the mojarra and it was absolutely delicious. The fish inside is all f- nice and flaky and like Steve was saying, the outside nice and crispy with lots of flavor from being fried. Oh my goodness, absolutely delicious. Yeah, yeah it's deep fried and obviously in oil. And uh, and it's just you see the bones here that you got to be careful with the the bones, but it is just so good. I mean, if you're a fish lover, this is really really good fish, Mexican style. And this is we've ordered this at other restaurants, and it's something that is so delicious that we just kind of pick at it with our fingers. I know <laughs> the whole time you're sitting there. We just eat it from you know straight from the the fish itself, and mm. sometimes don't even make it into a taco. <laughs> it's so <Yeah>. good. <laughs> it's like save the tacos for home. <laughs> mm-hmm. But here's me trying the the fish as well. Mm, a little bit of that guacamole. Mm, yes. Just a little bit of rice. I couldn't decide whether I want the rice in there or not. Let's go for it. It's It was all so flavorful. And there's the uh, salad with a little bit of jalapeno, some fresh onions. Oh my goodness, mm. it was so delicious. It's fresh cilantro. I like the way you fold up your I don't. Yeah, I don't want the all that good stuff to fall out. So I have to fold in the mm. bottom, <laughs> keep it all inside. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I thought I had bitten into a, a fish bone, but it wasn't. It was mm-hmm. the fresh onion and nice and crispy. Mm-hmm. We well, definitely I'm, recommend the mojara. I'm hungry all over again. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And they, um, oh, it was so delicious. They also offered desserts and we wanted to try the flan, which is also house made. Mm -hmm. And it's the, uh, their family recipe and this delicious, um, uh, Mexican custard, uh, has the flavor of vanilla in it. Oh my goodness. And that sugar that they bake it in when it caramelizes, it gives it that delicious caramel Carol flavor. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. This is such a wonderful dessert. Um, and this is something that in Mexico, uh, folks will make it overnight and then a lot of times have it for breakfast, mm -hmm. not just as a dessert. I've had it for breakfast quite a bit. Uh, because mm -hmm. it has, you know, the milk and the eggs in it. So mm -hmm. it's an absolute delicious dessert and breakfast item. In fact, I, I really like it for breakfast. Hmm. And Steve had to try it as well. Oh, yeah. I love flan. Yeah. So folks who it's, haven't tried or tasted a flan, it's it kind of takes on a little bit of uh, the flavor and texture of a creme brulee dessert. If yes, you, that's something very close to it. So yeah. if you've had a creme brulee dessert at an Italian restaurant or any other type of restaurant that offers it that's a very similar item mm -hmm. it's a custard it's a custard yeah. mm -hmm. absolutely delicious i think when i was a kid my mom would make like a a custard like it from a jello uh, box you know mm -hmm. a custard yeah they also offer it in instant yeah. where you can buy it mm -hmm. at the store instant mix and then we also ordered the sopapilla and it, this is a flour tortilla deep fried with deep fried and then served with honey and cinnamon and butter. And this was also absolutely delicious. It was fantastic. It's like um, kind of similar to an elephant ear that you would get at the fair. At the fair, yeah. And my dad used to make these at home when we were growing up. And in Mexico, um, where we came from, they call them buñuelos. But our recipe, we didn't drizzle the honey over them, just the uh, cinnamon and the and the sugar. Mm -hmm. But both versions, to me, um, are really good. Yeah, I wasn't disappointed. The honey really said it all. And they didn't have coffee at this time, but they are going to be offering coffee in the future. So yeah. as, as you folks may already know, I like to have coffee with my desserts. Um, so this is the only reason why I didn't have a cup of coffee with my buñuel, my sopapilla this time, also mm -hmm. known as buñuelos. But um, it was, I mean, everything was absolutely flavorful, delicious. And um, we did get the um, full address um, from the owner. So we'll put that in the description box. Mm -hmm. And if you like the videos that we're bringing you, uh, please feel free to subscribe to our channel. It would sure help us grow our channel so we can continue to bring you more videos like these uh, from restaurants that we eat at and other areas we travel to. Um, if you have any questions, um, post them on, on there. We'll try to answer them as fast as we can. Or if you have a comment, you want to share something, also post those. We, we do enjoy reading your comments. And thanks for watching, everyone. We had a really good time at this authentic Mexican restaurant. Yes, and we're so happy that we have another new Mexican restaurant in our area that we can, we can share and recommend. And we hope that you get a chance to come out and try them out. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope that you have a great rest of your day.